Where the hell are we? Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Uh, let's reload. This doesn't seem very good. Oh, shit. Look at the size of that fucking thing. What is it? The experiments here involve the creation of neuropolymer endoskeletons for various animals. The goal is to allow them to live in hostile conditions on the outer planets of the solar system. Endoskeletons. That thing isn't gonna attack us, is it? It's huge. The specimens here currently lack any neuropolymer brain tissue structure. Ooh. They are nothing but polymer bodies at this time. They cannot move. Still, they're freaking massive. Are they for planets with low gravity? Some are, while others are for planets with high gravity. Research is being conducted for all scenarios. In one of the vats, you can even see attempts to breed an organism capable of living in the oceans of Jupiter. That, that's kind of cool. It's just really fucking grotesque. Couldn't we, like, dye this something? You know, if it was, like, blue or yellow or purple, um... It'd be far less fucking gross, that's for sure. Jesus Christ. We had to take Bikov out. The damn janitor started shooting up the lab. It's a good thing the corrections team got there in time. He left a whole bunch of safes in there. Whose music box is this? Oh, I guess I don't have to worry about the safe then, maybe? They found it themselves. Yeesh. Why'd this guy get dragged into the red polymer? If none of it's alive. Oh, dear. Was this one a big-ass cow? The idea is cool. The science is spooky. They said they get attacked. I don't think Stockhouse is making it out of this game alive. I feel he knows too much of the background dealings. Expected to see Victor like this in these circumstances. Hmm. We used to be thick as thieves, you know. But Victor made too many bad calls. Now look at him. Thanks to Dr. Sechenov's brilliance. We don't have to lose all of Petrov's knowledge. Maybe we should lose his knowledge! Man, she's coming here just in time. We'll be able to return the robots to their previous state. Once the simulation He's already is dead, complete. you creep! Keep your hands off him! Grenade. Where'd you get a grenade? Jesus! 
I never had any grenades. So like, did that even work? Oh jeez. Oh my, Mikael, no! I didn't like it, but that didn't mean I want you to fuck get absorbed. Yeah. Are we back in the silly World War II scape, or are we doing something else? <clears throat> well, this is not that silly. Uh. Establishing uh, connection. Huh? The professor says you haven't slept in three days. I don't wanna. Sleeping pills. Bottle of vodka. This fucking music. You know I don't like that stuff. My brain's a fortress. You know, when I was a boy, my brother was in the dark. So my mother left the light on. It helped him. I hate it. The light interfered with my Huh. I Fucking didn't like turn around for the light, dude. For the same reason. All those colorful pictures. They were real. Exactly. The books in my father's library were interesting. History. Theoretical physics. Science doesn't try to make the world safer or prettier. It doesn't lie to us. It just gives us the facts. So, I knew what I had to train for. Then I made another discovery. A monster in the dark behaves predictably. It can be studied. A monster in the light wears a mask and is therefore uncontrollable. Which makes it dangerous. What? Very much so. Moreover, the light is what makes us monsters. You understand, my boy? More or less. May I turn out the light? Yeah. Reconstructing illumination. Huh? Hey! Well, that almost looked really cute. Who fucked up the cat? Hello? Oh, the door opened up. Did I go to... Did I go down the right path? Is that what happened? I just chose the first door. Anyways, I've heard this... fucking music... in so many... TikToks... and, like, goofy YouTube videos. This is really fucking funny! This is not, not appropriate music at all because of that context for me. <laughs> it's like fake dramatic reveal. Oh my god. And, and then Stacy turned out to be his mom the entire time. He dated his mom. Like what? <laughs> What the fuck is going on? I guess it fits for me, because I you know what? Hey, half of this shit is... ...going a little bit silly in the mindscape here. Oh. Cool, alright, yeah, fuck it! Stop teleporting me, because I walk past this gentleman. There's no cat thing to look at this time. Get me out of here, open the door! Are we, like, loading? Is that what's going on? I gotta take a few seconds for the brain to load things up. No, I gotta walk the other way. Oh, jeez. Well, you're about to get your ass whooped! Run, Wolf, run! 
That thing is huge! That is a big rooster. Oh, actually, it's not as big as I thought, but it's still sizable. He's getting his ass kicked. I guess we do like our cartoons. Whoa. Nope, that's gone. The beer off in the distance. Okay, just gonna keep walking. Whoop. What do the numbers mean, Major? What are we even doing here? My love. Bro, I don't even know where I am. Come. Come. I'm trying? Trying to, to... to figure this out. But there really isn't much, oh jeez, to figure out. I'm just kind of following the path laid out in front of me. God, I hope this teardrop person turns out to be like a genuine. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot. It made me a furry. <laughs> I didn't expect this. Yeah, this ends up being like a cop out, like yeah, I'm for not. Well, it is your love, but not really. <laughs> Wake up, my love. Come. I, I'm making my way out. Wake up. Whoa. <sighs> Why did I pass out, though? Because of a grenade? Does that happen anytime I fall asleep? It's not like I could have gotten a code from Sechenov there. Son of a bitch. What the... Charles, where's Larissa? She hid before the explosion. So what happened to Stuck? Stuckhausen was knocked into a vat of polymer by the explosion and is now deceased. You hypocrite. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Huh. Some doctor you are, you grenade-tossing bitch. <laughs> Petrov and Falatova are cut from the same cloth. There can be no doubt about that. Whatever. We gotta find a way out. Poor Michael, or Mikkel, I suppose. He got completely devoured. Before he could do anything actually relevant for us besides be a nuisance. Let's get out of here. <sighs> All that lugging around of Petrov's head. What? Major, you alive? No, huh? I got killed by a grenade. I'm so sorry that happened. I didn't want any of this, but none of it matters right now. So what does matter, you crispy-ass critter? We <laughs> have to meet. You need to see this with your own eyes. I'll show you everything. What do you mean by everything? You trust Sechenov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no idea what's really going on. You need to see it with your own eyes or you're not gonna believe it. You got that right. I have no fucking idea what's going on. Yep. You will understand when you see it. I have proof. I'll be waiting in the Academy of Consequences. The entrance is inside the lighthouse. Trust nobody. I don't. <laughs> I mean, if she wants to actually show me what the hell's going on, I'm down. I <laughs> I need this so badly, but also I'm going to a place called the Academy of Consequences. That's really funny. Comrade oh, right, Major. Yeah. I must insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass about those rings, Charles? You said you would make a decision about the rings when the time was right. The time is now. I don't have time for this. Yes, you do, Comrade Major. Otherwise, it will be too late. Fuck off already, Charles. There are bodies everywhere. A crazy doctor with a grenade killed Stock, and the only way out of this is through a wall of bots. Who the fuck cares about the damn rings? Stop calling them rings, Major. You need to learn to think before you speak, not after. They are beta connectors, and they will enable two robot assassins to be free of any control other than that of their bloodthirsty master. 
Do you want more deaths on your conscience? What bloodthirsty master are you talking about? I've got the rings, and I'm not going to put them on any fucking robots. And how long will they remain in your possession, Major? As long as I'm still breathing, and there's still time left. Time's up. The procedure for assimilating Petrov's head has begun. Sechenov will return the robots to their normal state, and then he will recall you. When you return, he will take the rings. Fuck, why? All items in your possession are recorded in my log. I cannot erase it. Only Sechenov has access. The first thing he will do is review the log. He wants the beta connectors. Apparently everybody wants them. Why? Does everybody want personal bot assassins? Think, Major. Who has asked you about the beta connectors? Sechenov with his metal twins? Stockhausen, Sechenov's right-hand lickspittle? Granny Zina, a secret double agent whose affiliation remains completely unknown? Or would you like to fulfill Petrov's dying wish and give Falatova the connectors? What the hell is going on? Am I the only sane person here? As you can see, we are the only options. Whoever gets their hands on the beta connectors, the results will be the same. More blood, more death. The rings must be destroyed before it's too late. It isn't too late, Charles. Not yet. You also say that, Charles? Hmm. Am I gonna get attacked here? By the giant whale? The thing about the... Rings. Okay, so the rings... They can make it so a robot isn't connected to the network uh, and can be controlled by somebody, so blah 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 blah. He could hide assassins and do whatever, and people wouldn't really realize it without using critical fucking thinking skills, I guess. Sure, whatever. But, like, what if they do something else, right? And that's why Charles wants us to, to get them destroyed too early on. Like, I'm not about fucking. If it tells me to delete it now. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. What is happening? Crazy oh, ass pump fuck. Thing kill that whale. Damn. The dewdrop is the latest design in the field of biomechanics. To put it simply, it is a hydraulic pump. Isn't that what I just said? Oh god. Hey, as long as it can't continue to slice this whale in half, we have an option here. Alright. Well, while it's digging around over there. It is n it is resistant to everything. Damn, I want to climb on the whale. All right, fuck it. We blast. Whoops! Alright. Let's do some big damage here. Fuck. Come on, free damage! Oh! Oh, God! Hey, maybe when the polymer's out, that doesn't seem good for my health. Maybe when the polymer's out, it's a little less resistant to things, right? No, I don't think so. What the fuck are those? 
Down reload. I can't believe I'm actually about to run out of fucking ammo. Lousy piece of shit. Yeah, I don't fucking think so. I'm just getting started. Hey, I tore you a new one. Why are you still up? Oh. Wow, that is strangely convenient. Ugh. Well, have at it, seagulls. Enjoy the feast. That's really fucking funny. <laughs> Whoa! A conveniently laid out set of rocks! From a giant laser blast! Huh! Even perfectly marked up to show that I can climb them. You could have just made a giant hole. I would have accepted that. <laughs> okay. Sure. I'm gonna have to make some bullets. Unless that was like, no, 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 that wasn't the last fight of the game. Oh, that thing was dangerous. I didn't know if I could handle it. And there are much more powerful robots out there. Real combat robots are far deadlier. There aren't any combat bots here. Not yet, but once Collective launches, they will be everywhere. And two of them will be equipped with beta connectors. Do you have any idea how much blood will be spilled because of one person's private ambitions? You and the rings are driving me nuts. When are you assholes gonna stop trying to pull my strings? <laughs> well, that was dumb. Happy now? Good decision, comrade Major. I have no doubt that it saved lives. Perhaps many more than I can imagine. Let's hope so. That wasn't destroying the rings, that was chucking them in the ocean for someone else to fucking find. Hello? <laughs> and Sechenov can still review the log and be like, Hey, you had the rings and what happened to them? And then he could, I don't know, mind control me and make me say it. I, I threw it into the ocean next to a giant dead whale that was within our security system. Oh, well, at least I don't have to worry about a choice in that regard, I suppose. Ugh. Crap, what a surprise. Why'd they freeze up? The access code has been successfully extracted from Petrov's neuropolymer memory. Combat mode has been disabled, and the robots have returned to their normal status. Well done, my boy. Everyone who was able to hide and survive owes you their lives. You've done me proud. Thank you, sir. What now? Come back to Chelome, get a checkup, and take some leave. You've earned it. I'll deal with the fallout from this mess. Roger that. I'm on my way. You didn't tell Sechenov about Philoptopa. Are you still planning to meet with her? I want to see this evidence she says is so important. Dr. Sechenov isn't going to like it, you know. So don't tell him. <laughs> is that a choice? I can just fucking walk on like, yeah, I don't have an idea with this shit. No, we'll go talk to Philoptopa. And, uh, I'm sure she's got incredibly important things to say. And maybe just actually show us. I don't see Larissa's body, so she must have gotten past the trophies. Wouldn't Sechenov be watching us do this anyways? And surely he can, like, hear us. <laughs> and maybe not see through our eyes, but maybe even see through our eyes. Our eyes are Think we should head upstairs? polymerized. A lighthouse, huh? So where is she? Larissa! 
freaking critters. You around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's gotta be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone. But she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. I mean, he's never really had to, but now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock and the Boston even bat an eye, is the launch of Collective really so important he can't even delay it out of respect for the dead? I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, <laughs> huh? Well, I don't have any data either, so let's go get some. <clears throat> it better be good data. Very, very good data. I need something much bigger than, like, such a has got good! Hey, look! The wolf's having to deal with a robot version of his friend! But we can't hear what it's saying. Not that we would be able to understand the rush. <laughs> I think it looped. All right. Ah, well, they told me that my... My... My lighthouse was gonna be ripped out of the ground and brought from Sakhalin to Kazakhstan by the robots. Well, I figured they were drunk. Huh, but nope. It's thousands of kilometers away from the ocean now. Like a museum exhibit. And I'm here too. Like another exhibit. Now sure, I got a raise. Sure, I barely have to do any work. The machines, machines do everything. Lighthouse and I are just a confirmation that humanity can do whatever it wants. But, but what the fuck are they guarding with all those flying guns everywhere, huh? I guess we're gonna find out what was so important about this lighthouse. Whoa. And what happened to the the guy who lived in the lighthouse? Eh. <laughs> One little piece of metal. What do we have here? A chair and a TV? This isn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I suspect that this room has a specific function. Is it gonna put on... the Deus Ex Machina? Or exposition dump on the TV? Alright, let's rumble! Or is this an elevator? It's an elevator. <laughs> that the unscheduled oh, acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Oh, so shit! she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. Is this the music from Bioshock? So that's Neptune, huh? Looks nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. Yeah, a rapture, alright. I right. spending some time there myself. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechenov asked you to return to Chelemen. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. I'm sick of playing Kevin's with her. <laughs> this just straight up sounds like the music when you first see Rapture in Bioshock 1. But it probably it can't be the exact one. That'd be, you know, that'd be ridiculous. Still. Sheesh! Hey, wow, Shana Beatty with us? Fantastic. I'm surprised we actually went down here in this game. What are we doing here? What do you want? Just hear me out, P3. Let me try to give you a different perspective, and then you can decide how to handle things. Do you know how Sechenov is planning to use Collective? What he's going to do with it? After Collective launches, people will be able to control robots with their minds. 
and they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way too, subscription. but that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Nyachayev. It's even worse than slavery. Bullshit. It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. Alright, seems like, uh... <laughs> seems like we're going in the direction that I thought about Collective. Ooh, mind control everybody! I've got questions. Where are we? This is the Academy of Consequences, the facility's memory, analytic center, and primary archive. The activities of all the other complexes are studied here in order to draw conclusions and generate probability matrices. Get to the point. The Academy has a number of interesting departments. For example, there's the Radio of the Future. By mathematically combining shortwave and quantum echoes, we can predict the music people will be listening to 50 or even 80 years into the future. That was not getting to the point. There's another very special department here called Polymerized Subject Behavioral Psychology. They're supposed to be volunteers, but... But they're not. How'd you get in here? Why didn't the Drophus stop you? I work here. Well, I used to. Only Sechenov can revoke my access. And he's got his hands full right now. And I'm no threat to him. Well, clearly you are. to the point. And no more grenades or other bullshit. Any funny business at all and I'll kill you. This is your last warning. Sure. Fine. Come on. I won't waste your time. Okay. Lead on. <sighs> is this place clear of... Killer robots? Cause uh, I'm seeing blood. That can't be good. Well, are you ready? Disable polarization. Oh. Well, goddamn! The fuck is this place? A haunted house or something? It's a tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for Collective. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it Limbo. And their bodies are here, under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. Keep going. Uh, the fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use Just it. Just him? Why don't I make them all jump? After all, we all live in a communist society. Goddamn you, jump! This is insane. Why do you people even do this shit? Fuck. Poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. Well, why don't you just tweak that one little thing, right? Well, I'm just, can't we do that without taking out we the rest of the work? We gotta stop this. Stop this? That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late. Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neuro controllers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot! 
we have been a little bit on the slow side about <sighs> the boss would never do that he would, trusting such and enough he will on monday all this is really hard to swallow but i'll help you whatever you're planning i'm in <laughs> you're willing to turn on such enough after what you just showed me Yeah, I want to hear what he's got to say. Well, this wasn't as pleasant of a visit. P2, P3. The mind is never free. What? What? How, who's P1 and P2? Are we all together in one system? Do you hear that? The voices in my head? Are you responsible for that? What's going on? A man be prepared. Oh, gosh. What? What was that? What's what? Nothing. I'm just digesting what I saw. Bro, communicate! Fucking tell someone what's happening! Because maybe she could stop it! Why did you help me? Perhaps because I care? And besides, it's not about you. Well, not only you. If you worked here, then, why didn't you try to stop this? I thought it was for the best. I thought it was for the good of the entire Soviet Union. But when I realized what was really going on, I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything, and you know the rest. Fine, moving on. The test subject is not leaving limbo. Inject neurotransmitters. Oh, God! What's uh, happening? Hey, Major. I'm what? fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. It won't hurt so much. You won't even remember a thing. What if I'm in limbo right now? Ugh. What if this is all my mind? Business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help if everything ends well. Yeah, I'm seeing uh, colors no in my eyes and everything. A little vacation will fix me right up. Oh my god, P3. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. Get some fucking help! Listen, about Victor, I, uh... What? Did you have no choice? You couldn't have acted differently? Will you now tell me that you're sorry? What? He sliced his own fucking head off! Why are you... <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Of course you're not. You were just doing your job, right? Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about it. I loved him when he was... different. He was kind, understanding, and didn't kill people. Yeah, he literally chopped his own head off. That is not on me. I just don't feel comfortable around these people. Huh, well, just you wait. Soon this is gonna happen all over the Soviet Union, and later the whole world. Then you'll see all people stripped of their free will. You know, free will doesn't guarantee that a person won't be a scumbag. What, are you justifying atrocities? Atrocities? What atrocities? If they're volunteers, coming here was their choice. It's got nothing to do with me. You're a monster! Affirmative. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. <laughs> what a weird cutoff there. What is going- what is with that? We were seeing that inside of... Limbo? I guess? Are we in limbo? Are we about to get yanked into limbo? Are we about to... to uh, kill Falatova? Not due to our own free will? What the fuck is going on? I mean, at least there hasn't been a code phrase. Would you kindly kill Falatova, Comrade Major? These fucking wires have still never been explained. Like, is there a specific robot causing that? And if so, which one?
Oh, my movement's so slow. All right. What's the deal with this lock? What the hell's going on, Ekaterina? Why won't the door take my password? Sort this out right away. I can't get to work. Data deleted. All right, guys. Conversation number 24. Comrade Sechenov, there was a fire in Comrade Zakharov's lab this morning. The professor was found dead in the medical lab. It was obvious that he had independently performed an unauthorized neurosurgical procedure using remote-controlled medical robots. His remains are being analyzed, awaiting your orders. Okay. A recording of a conversation between Dr. Sechenov and V. Petrov has been appended to this message at M. Stockhausen's request. There we go. Comrade Sechenov, Collective's control interface has to be reconfigured so it can only control robots. I won't allow this device to be used to control human minds. Victor, we're men of science. There's no room at the facility for emotions or politics. Follow your order. Listen, Comrade Sechenov, I don't have a problem with a certain wise intellect setting the course for all mankind. What I do have a problem with is who you see in the role of Demiurge. So this is about personal relations. Well, whoever told you you were the worthiest of the worthy, huh? Who put you in charge of history? Do you think you're better than everyone else? I see that all that romantic melodrama at the theater has had a real effect on you. Shall I assume you're refusing a direct order? Yes, I am. Now what? Are you going to kill me? Victor, I don't know what you think of me, but I would never stoop to something so, well, something so primitive. <laughs> no, I will just hold you as a prisoner and make you go crazy. Much more of an effective use of our time. <laughs> 